नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू चैनल सिंपलीफाई योर स्पेस टुडे इस वीडियो इज ऑन अ लॉन्ग पेंडिंग टॉपिक फर्स्ट एड एंड मेडिसिन कैबिनेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओवर द पीरियड मेडिसिन एंड अलाइट टूल्स हैव गॉटन स्कैटर्ड इन मल्टीपल स्टोरेजेस एट माई होम एंड लास्ट वीक वेन आई रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम वायरल फीवर आई थॉट इट वॉज टाइम टू सेट दिस अप ऑन प्रायरिटी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट अ फ्यू आइटम्स अदर देन मेडिसिन दैट वी मेक कीप एट होम टू अवॉइड एनी लास्ट मिनट रनिंग अराउंड Now let's get started. The very first thing one should do is take everything out of the medicine cabinet or drawer. Check the expiries and segregate the useful ones. I think medicines are the only thing which we happily dispose of without feeling guilty for not using them. Once purging is done, group all the medications and tools. All the adult medications like for flu, cold, tummy bug, pain relievers, antacids, etc., are put together. All child medications are kept separately. Usually, they all come in liquid form in bottles. Now, all the ointments and creams are kept separate, and all pain relief sprays and adult liquid medications separate. I have also grouped other items such as thermometers, oximeters, steamers, nebulizer, heating pads and bottles, etc. For storing medication, it is important to choose the cabinet which is dark and dry, easily accessible for adults, but at the same time out of reach for small kids. I have assigned this shelf in my master bedroom as a medicine cabinet. Now according to the size of the cabinet I bought boxes and organizers to keep all the items organized. This clear acrylic spice organizer is great way of organizing all the liquid medications and sprays. At the back I have kept all the pain relief sprays, balms and adult medications and at the front all the child medications. This way everything will be visible with ease of access. I have used a set of these clear acrylic boxes to keep all the items segregated. In the big box all the regular medications are kept for flu, cold, antacids, pain relief etc. In another box I have kept all the creams and ointments. In another box all the extra new and open bottles. All the thermometers and oximeters are safely stored in a separate box. Infrared touch free thermometer and oximeter can be quite handy. Small boxes are utilized to store a few other items such as extra medicine cups and droppers, cotton pads and medicine for nebulizer. I've labeled them nicely for the ease of access. Everything is so clear and visible. Now I have placed this shelf rack to maximize the vertical space. On the top first I have placed this big pack of disposable masks and gloves. and then one by one i have placed all the clear boxes which we just organized everything looks neat and clear next comes the first aid kit which is a must have for every house especially house with kids choose a small box with handle for this purpose so that it can be carried easily from one room to another i have this three tier box with side locks which i'm utilizing for this purpose this box should consist of items and medicines required for giving first aid for minor burns cuts accidental injuries bleeding etc before you can reach out to professional help it should have bandages for cuts bandages for dressing cotton wool and wipes 
roller bandage and tape. Antiseptic solution, antiseptic dressing cream, cream for burns and scissor. I have also kept a few disposable masks and a pair of gloves. More or less these are the items required for first aid box. You may suitably equip it as per any specific needs. List of these items is given in the description box. If you travel often, I recommend you keep a separate pouch for travel days. It will be easy on the packing day. I always keep this ready with a few medicines for headache, motion sickness, tummy ache, anti-acids and fever along with a few bandages, ORS solution and thermometer. As far as kids medicines are concerned, I pack in this pouch only while packing our luggage. Now let's move ahead. I have used this basket with handle to store nebulizer, heating pad, cold and hot bottles. Steamers are placed here in other basket. It is always recommended to keep two steamers. If one breaks down, you will still have a backup. It is also useful if suddenly 2-3 members of the family fall sick together. These items may look shabby and take so much space if kept directly on the shelf. Baskets keep this area more presentable and organized. Don't forget to label everything for the ease of access and storing them back post usage. Lastly, here I have placed three individual folders to store prescription for me, my husband and my son along with the copy of medical insurance. It is a convenient place to gather all the prescriptions throughout the year. Later all these prescriptions will go into the medical archive folder. Another pouch is kept collecting all the paper medical bills which you may combine with online bills for your taxation purpose. And with this our medical cabinet organization is completed. Few medicines are stored in the kitchen cabinet like daily supplements, Joshina and Betadine for gargling as that's the most convenient place. Joshina was introduced to me by a friend and it works well for me. But I must add the disclaimer that one size does not fit all and every individual may have specific medicinal needs for which you must consult a professional. I also keep a couple of balms and creams on the side table for convenience. So the idea is you don't have to fall sick to get your medical kit organized. Right time to get organized is always now. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.